what we have on the screen is the graphical representation of how the solution works. So the authors, uh, be they solicitors, medical practitioners, financial service accountants, uh, advisors, consultants, can create their dictations using their smartphone uh, by downloading the Philips Voice Recorder app. And once they have recorded their dictation, they can send off their dictations to their speech exec uh, software with integrated speech recognition using the uh, Philips SpeechLive mobile cloud dictation solution as the delivery uh, facility for their dictations. And once it reaches the speech exec uh, software, the automatic conversion from voice to text occurs using your personalized voice recognition profile. And once it's done, that's done, the document is produced, the speech recognized text is produced, and then your transcriptionist or your assistant can complete the workflow by actually opening the dictation and the attachment, do a final correction, a few edits um, on the document. And once the document is finalized, the final document is sent back to the author, again, using the Philips Speech Live facility. So without further ado, let's now delve into the actual demonstration. So what I'm going to be showing to you, I'm going to be projecting my uh, voice recorder app and also show you my speech exec software. So let me go into showing you my speech exec software. Uh, I'm opening my uh, Philips uh, Dictate software with the integrated speech recognition. And also I'm going to project my app uh, on the screen. So I'm going to tap on the Philips Voice Recorder app. Here it's how it looks like. So I'm going to open the icon and uh, we'll be doing a very short demonstration uh, dictation. But before I do so, let me give you a whirlwind tour of how the app looks like. Uh, if you're using an Android phone, so on the top left corner, this is your default uh, dictation file name uh, that can be customized. If you want to put in the name of your client or your patient, uh, you can do so uh, on the app. And down at the bottom, you have four icons. The first one that you see is the create new dictation uh, icon. So you just tap on the plus sign. Uh, if you're working with work types or categories, you can hit the edit button and you can put in your work types and categories on the dictation. And this is uh, the second most top button on your app, which is your share or your forwarding button. And then uh, we also have the car mode option for Android users. So if you want to do a dictation on a long drive of your or your, you're stuck in traffic, you can do your dictations on the car mode option. What it does, it magnifies the record icon. So it just makes it easier for you to tap uh, on the record button. And then if you want to switch back to normal mode, uh, just uh, tap on that icon again. And last but not least, you have your priority icon here if you want to mark a particular dictation as priority for your assistant. Okay, uh, with that, Let's now actually do a short half minute uh, recording. I'll tap on my record uh, uh, button to start a recording. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, comma, new paragraph. We are doing a short demonstration on recording a dictation from the Philips Voice Recorder app and send it to the Philips Dictation Solution for speech recognition. Full stop. New paragraph. This is to demonstrate how we add mobility and speech recognition to your workflow. Full stop. New paragraph. Thank you. Full stop. Okay, I tap on the record button again to end the uh, recording. And let's rename the dictation by tapping onto this uh, default file name. Like so, it will bring up the uh, keyboard on my smartphone. And why do we call this? Uh, let's just use the acronym for our session today. Intelligent Smartphone Dictation 1. Happy with that. Press Done. And then send off the dictation via SpeechLive. As mentioned, the cloud dictation facility that transmits our dictation to our 
uh, speech exec dictate software. And then in a few moments, I will see a notification that the file has been sent. Uh, from time to time, you will uh, be asked to rate the, the app. You can do so later. Just checking if the app has been sent. And you can see here, successfully sent. All good. So I'll now minimize my app. And you can see that the dictation has arrived in my dictation folder. It's immediately highlighted in green. What the, does that mean? It means that the dictation is being speech recognized uh, automatically. As you can see, I didn't uh, click on any icon on my dictate software. Everything happened uh, automatically on the background. Uh, the software is now applying my speech recognition profile on the audio recording and applying my vocabulary as well uh, onto the recording. And it's all happening on the background. That's why you don't see anything on your uh, dictate software. So we'll just give it a few moments uh, to complete the uh, conversion from voice to text. And then after this uh, uh, portion of the demonstration, I'm going to switch back. I'm going to switch to my transcriptionist and to see how the entire workflow is completed on the transcriptionist side. So everything is done. Uh, I, I believe the voice, uh, voice to text conversion happened in about half the time of the dictation length. Uh, you will know that it's completed and you already have this green icon here that it's a speech recognizable dictation and there's an attached document that uh, goes with that audio file. So it, that's all done on the dictate side. And I'm going to close my dictate software and open my transcription software and show you how the uh, conversion from voice to text is completed on the transcribe side. Uh, again, uh, when I open my uh, transcribe software with integrated speech recognition, it is likewise invoking my speech recognition profile in the background that's why that's why it uh, takes a little bit more time to open up because uh, the software is invoking your voice profile on the background okay so let's go to the finished uh, dictation folder and let the uh, dictation synchronize i can hit the hit the re refresh button to actually download that new dictation that has been created uh, as you can see, this is the uh, dictation that we just did, and it's now updated on my transcribe uh, software, Speech Exec Pro Transcribe. What I can do is double click on the document to open it up. As mentioned, the transcriptionist can actually play back the dictation and make some edits or proofreading on the actual speech recognized text. So that's what uh, we can do. Let me maximize my window. As you can see, uh, the typist can do a playback and it will highlight the, the words spoken. And then you can go through the text of the document. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as you can see, the text is uh, quite perfect. Uh, only because uh, my profile is well trained, hence the accuracy of the uh, voice to text conversion. Uh, my my typist, my assistant, can add additional text on the original file, like for example, adding my name onto the document, and then hit finish. And when she hits finish, she'll be presented with several options on what she would want to do with the text. Uh, she can copy it onto the clipboard and maybe paste it in, onto an email or export the entire thing as a separate document file. Uh, but for purposes of this uh, demonstration, we'll just do a do not export to make it quicker. And that is all done. And that dictation now lands on my archive folder. So that's how it's uh, finished on the on the actual workflow. Now. The author who created the dictation will uh, get 
a notification from the system that his dictations have been uh, completed. Uh, I can flash my uh, app again. So this is my app. Uh, he receives it two ways. On the app itself, all he needs to do is go to the recordings tab. As you can see here, you immediately saw that the uh, symbol changed from an arrow pointing up to a tick mark. Uh, it means tick mark means that the dictation has been finished, uh, been tra uh, transcribed, and there's an attached uh, document uh, signified by the chain link icon. If you hit the three horizontal dots on the side, it will present you an option to actually open the attachment. So that's one option. The other option is uh, if you check your email on your smartphone, you will also see. So let me open my email. See here, I got uh, an email on my smartphone uh, saying that the dictation has been transcribed and there's the attached document. Uh, if you want to view the attached document, just tap on it and your uh, word opening uh, up uh, on your smartphone will open the document for you and you can read it on your smartphone. And as you can see, you received the final document. If you recall, my typist added my name onto the dictation, so you get the finalized version of the document. So that's pretty much it, uh, how the solution uh, will work for your firm or your practice. It looks simple in the demonstration because it is, but I'm quite sure that it's quite powerful in terms of improving your uh, documentation uh, productivity.